the battler. What we have, <laughs> Mark's out there in the kayak, and we just came through a riff in the, on the water here on Schuylkill, and uh, we just went back it in. And what, one of the cool things about this is the fact that uh, you can fish a whole stretch like he's doing in the kayak, and then you can get out and stretch your legs, stretch your back out a little bit, and then fish all these little rifts in here. We've got a great hole right here. we got a, a shallow bar and then a drop off in there. And just what Mark did, he came around that bar, dropped it right in there, and caught the fish. So it's kind of a cool thing where uh, we're using the kayaks, again, really to, to get to places so that we could actually fish these things because the water's too fast. We could never really fish it properly. Um, in the kayaks because it'd be too fast for us. So what we did, we just beached the kayaks, get out, uh, you have a good pair of wading shoes on so you don't uh, hurt your feet. And then we can fish all these little stretches. F 15, 20 minutes, we're finished, boom, back in the water. And we go down to the next stretch. He chased something on top. And he's off. <laughs> well, we just moved down a couple hundred feet. Again, we got back out of the kayaks because we have a really good stretch of water right here. Um, got a nice flow going past. We got a good bunch of rocks, a bridge abutment. So we're going to get the flow behind it. A lot of fish up in the rocks, especially because there's a lot of crayfish here. So a lot of fish are going to be feeding off that. And we, we're only wading into knee deep water here. So we're going to fish this whole area uh, and just work our way on both sides, that side too. And just work around. Then we'll hop back in the kayaks and move on down again. So it's kind of a really cool situation where you can just get out, fish a spot, work around it, hop back in the kayaks, and move on to your next spot. It's a really lot of fun. Bob, what I'm doing here is there's up oh, missed them. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing here is uh, casting right it's top water foam popper right above the, uh, the the abutment here, and there's some nice current. And just letting it swing right past the uh, the front of the abutment here, and you can see they're coming up almost every cast, taking a swipe at it. Yeah, well, they got a lot of good. I mean, again, it's just something that's they're hanging. They're just probably facing the current, and they're just waiting for something to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. got him that time. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're, they're the smallmouth. They're just sitting right up there, facing the current. And you're throwing that popper right by them, and they're just coming up and just whacking it. Oh, oh, that was a nice fish. <laughs> Came out of the water. A little better fish. Yeah, either that or he's fighting that current. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, he's fighting a little bit. There he is. <laughs> there you go, it's a nice fish. Ooh. Nice fish. Here it comes. <laughs> Keep down. Keep oh. oh, it's a good one. <laughs> I said there's a bad fish, but this is a good fish. <laughs> On that Senko. Yep, yeah, I love that Senko. What we just did again, we moved down just a couple hundred yards, got the boats out again, and uh, went right to this spot here. Got a shallow spot, we're in probably ankle deep water. And uh, came up here, we got a deep hole. And what we're doing was just got a lot of rip wrap. Bass are just hanging on there. Mark uh, threw out and uh, got a nice bass. Nice fish. Right on that Senko again. Yeah, he uh, that pretty good. They're such a pretty fish, aren't, aren't they? they? Uh, that's a lot of really so much fun with the light, light, the light tackle, and uh, you know, and that, that faster current, man. It's just, you know, unbelievable. 
You want to see something really cool? Yeah. He spit this out of his mouth. He spit that caterpillar. Look at the size of that caterpillar. <laughs> oh man. <he's... laughs> Jesus. What did you just do over there? <laughs> Throw across my kayak yep <laughs> <laughs> and catch a fish um well you weren't throwing i know i know i was i was you know if you want to catch fish you got to put the bait in the water and i but now, it's amazing real... how we are in very shallow water right now and those fish are still yeah i um that one was in about six or eight inches of water up there well you know i think one of the things that we have going for us today though is to um the cloud cover is doing us a real nice yeah, job. Yeah, if the sun was up high, with the, oh, you got one. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Six inches of water, really. Nice fish. <laughs> Six inches of water. <laughs> now, you know what? I don't, let me see here. I don't know if we can. Got this. He splashed that thing. And I think I got there, him caught in, the, caught in the side. Yeah. Oh, come over here. Yeah. <laughs> he just swatted at it. Yeah. And that was what it was. He just swatted it, and I got him on the side here. Oh, here he comes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Come here, come here. Look at that. Now, that fish just swatted at the bait. Never even got it but he splashed just slashed at it and that fish came out of oh, maybe six inches of water so all right let me get you detail here nice fish and when you catch them like that they feel a lot bigger <laughs> yeah they do nice dark fish again that fish just came out what i was saying before was that the cloud cover has really uh, helped us today. It's really kept the fish up shallow uh, and then just really shallow water here. So one of the best things you can do is have a nice cloudy day like today and go catch some nice fish. All right, I'm gonna get back and get some more. <laughs> Found a nice little hole here, Bob. Yeah. Oh, he just threw off another worm. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, fishy. There we go. Again, that's just because we're kind of floating away here. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was up there in shallow water too. Tell you what, this glove really helps. Yeah, what, what, what is that? I mean, um, it's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's got some, uh, some rubber grip. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would describe that, but uh, basically it helps grab the fish and uh, protect your hand from treble hooks. Yeah, and a lot of times, yeah, especially treble hooks, especially with smallmouths with those treble hooks, man, you gotta at least get it in, it gets into that and not into right. you. Yeah. But you can, uh, you can grab the fish right there and pull them right out of the water and because of the, uh, yeah. The rough surface yeah, And at there. the end of the day, your thumb is not all raw. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to throw back up in there and catch another one.